All right, this video uh, was for someone I was talking to on Belgian Malinois Nation last night. Uh, I just want to touch on how I create the picture for a heel with food early on. Uh, the biggest thing with food uh, is for me, you need a kibble that you can manage. So what I use is Royal Canine, German Shepherd formula. It's a big piece of kibble. Uh, you don't want to be dropping kibble when you're working with food. So this is easy to manage. I can easily reach into my pouch, grab one or two or three so I can vary that reward to the dog, uh, keep him guessing on what he's getting and when. So the food's important from there. Uh, the picture has to be, hey bud, uh, the picture has to be taught to the dog in a static position, so stationary. I want him to understand he all means to be in my left side, tight, with the tension. I have to build that without moving. Once that's perfect, not moving, I'm going to start introducing movement. So movement's going to be for me a step forward, tension, tight, proper position, reward, 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 build that, a step backwards, a step forward, a step sideways, either way. He's got to learn all these pictures in static positions without movement. So uh, I'll, I'll go over that real quick. And then from there, once he has those pictures, it's very easy to transition into movement. When I first start moving, it's very short, uh, very short, you know, a few steps. I try to make kind of left hand, large left hand circles so that he has to adjust his speed to stay with me rather than speed up. He's going to have to control his speed to stay at my side. So I'll go over that real quick now. very short steps. Uh, when I say static, I mean I'm going to take a step, he's in position, he's going to get rewarded. Boy. Uh, same thing backwards. Yep. Good. He's got to know to hold that position. Once he understands that position, I'm going to start, like I said, fading the lure. I'm going to start putting it on the side of his head. Yep. Good heel. Yep. Good. He has to hold position. Yo. Good, very good. Yo. Very good. I can start building movement as it gets better. Yo. Yes, boy. Great. Good boy. So, obviously that was a very speed, sped up version. Static. Teach it statically, add movement, uh, then you're going to start really testing his ability to stay on your left leg. For me, I do that by making turns, uh, walking backwards. He's got to learn my left leg needs to stick to it like glue. Yo. Good. Very good. Yo. Yo. Good. Good. Vary the reward. Good boy. Always, the key thing with this though, is always to reward pro proper head position. I see so many people spending the time to do food systems and use the lure, and they're walking around, they're rewarding their dog with a head position like this. That's gonna be his end picture if I do that. Yo. 
he needs to know that he doesn't get the reward unless his head's up tall. Same in this position. His head needs to be up tall. Yes. Yes. Break. Good boy. It has to be lured with that high head, marked and rewarded with a high head. That's the super most important thing in this. Because reward, even though you spend all that time making him hold the head position up high, if you mark it and reward it and feed him with his head straight, he's going to heal with his head straight. You have to spend that time. All right, enjoy.